Topor, nine months ago. Life is in the hands of Roy Bale, yeah mate, let's go. A narrator named Patrick filmed his friend Roy sober driving him and his car home. Don't slow down bro, fuck me around the corner. Slow down, slow, slow Roy. <laughs> Shit, sorry. Fuck you, Roy. Sorry, Patrick. You owe me a car. I'll pay you back. You owe me a car, bro. Sorry, Patrick. You owe me a fucking car, bro. We're fucking done, bro. Let's fucking one out, bro. Let's fucking do it. What the fuck is that? You wanted a sober driver home. You said sober. I was sober. What the fuck is that? I'm calling the cops for myself. Bro. I'm hurting myself then. Oh, bro. You're fucking... Go. Admit it. I'm a minute that I was sober. Patrick's car was ruined, and so was their friendship. I went to Topor to meet Patrick Boyle. Fuck you are a tall cunt. How's it going? And to try and repair a friendship. I'm so excited to meet you. So am I, man. Excited to meet yourself. So how did the video come about? I was working with Roy at a burger joint in town. He doesn't have much people to hang out with, so I thought I'll say, you know, come out with me for the night. I'll show you a good time. What time roughly is the end of the night? Oh, half past seven, so not that long. Is that when this happened, half past seven? Around that, yeah. What is this night on the town? This is like 45 minutes in town. Oh, it wasn't that long, but I was slamming those little fuckers back. So you had the night of your life, yeah. good 45 <laughs> minutes, and at that point you're like, I have had the maximum amount of fun that I could have yeah. in Topor. And then I had a bit too much to drink. Roy said he had his driver's license. Sweet, you can drive home. It's just a straight all the way down from the lake. And then the first right he turned, ba-bang. Shit, sorry. There's one lamppost and there's, there's nothing else to hit. <laughs> And he just smacked bang like the car right in the middle. He fucking nailed that, eh? Bang on. And you also want to fight him. Well, I had that car for three weeks. I was boiling and it took me like probably two and a half years to save for that car. We're fucking done, bro. Let's fucking one out, bro. Let's fucking do it. Fighting. Do you reckon you could have beat Roy in a fight? Definitely. Tie my hands behind my back, I'll just headbutt the little fucker. <laughs> what happened after the crash? We shook hands saying, you know, you crashed my car. I'm not going to take any further, you pay me back $100 a week, shock on it, done, sweet. And then he done two of them, then stopped paying me, texted him, blocked. Wow. I can't get hold of him. All I wanted to do was take him out, have a good night. Do you think you'll ever be able to forgive him? If he stopped acting like a fuckwit and like actually just shakes my hand and says sorry, all's forgiven. You put your life in his hands. I did, yeah. Life is in the hands of Roy Bale, yeah mate. And now he owes you a car, bro. You owe me a car, bro. Mm. Let's go find Roy right now. Absolutely. Roy needed to be held responsible for his actions. Shit, sorry. Fuck you, Roy. It was time to confront him face to face. This is Roy's house. Don't try and fight him, all right? But that was going to be harder than I thought, because Roy had disappeared. Don't worry, Patrick, I'm going to find Roy Vale. Fuck him. I might fuck him, I don't know. I don't know what the situation is. But how can I fuck someone who wasn't there? I turned to the internet, where I found several accounts for Roy Vale currently marketing himself as the Christian chef. But he refused my DMs and instantly went private. If I couldn't get to Roy, I would have to lure him to me. Tapping into the two things Roy loved, I developed a plan to stage a fake Christian food festival, spending over $600 on posters and targeted online advertising, all aimed at an audience of one man. And after almost two weeks of waiting, I finally got a response. Roy Vale attending. It was showtime. Hello, Roy. Why don't you come take a seat over here? Sorry to inform you that this isn't the Christian Food Festival. Where have you been? I decided to go basically incognito after I left Taupo. To search for porn on the internet? <laughs> no. No, sorry, this is not the Christian Food Festival, this is uh, an interview, sorry. So I want you to take me back to that fateful night. We went out at 10 o'clock at night, and we went right to 1 o'clock on the Sunday night. Patrick, he said it was like 7.30 at night. Okay, I can't remember the <laughs> time flies when you have fun. We were going home from Mulligan's, I was in the driver's seat. He told me to speed up, and then suddenly told me to slow down. And I whacked it at 75k into the light pulse and bent at 45 degrees. Because that is interesting, eh? He did tell you to don't slow down, Roy. Yes. Don't slow down, bro. Fuck me around the corner. We've both been drinking. You wanted a sober driver home? You said sober! I was sober. What the fuck is that? I came under the legal limit. 189 micrograms per litre of breath. So you're still under sober? Yeah. I am a minute that I was under sober. I also heard that you said you had a full licence. That was a that was a flunk. 
a flunk. Yes. It was just to impress him. Was he impressed? Well, he wasn't impressed when I crashed. Because <laughs> <laughs> it meant he knew that it was something that was fishy. Was this your first time driving? First time driving on the open road. What was it? Was it your... What? Fuck. Roy? So you're having a huge night between 45 minutes and five hours, and you're like, time to start learning to drive. This is not the Christian Food Festival. No, sorry, those are just fake signs we put up. Sorry, thank you. So you're the Christian chef? Was. I don't call myself Christian chef anymore. I'd rather be called Rusty. <laughs> Rusty? <laughs> I've always been a follower of Jesus, but I had to turn to myself and forgive and try and forget what went on. Forget the dark days. Forget it. <sighs> it's hard, isn't it? It's hard. So you guys were good mates? Yes. This crash tore us apart. Since then, we haven't talked. That's sad, though. How does that make you feel? I felt bad when the crash happened. I still feel bad today. Do you feel like you owe Patrick anything? Not that I'm aware of. You owe me a fucking car, bro. He may say that he, I owe him a car, but the court said I don't have to owe him a car. In the video though, you said, I'll pay you back. I'll pay you back. Yeah, I did I'm pay I'm sorry, Patrick. Sorry, Patrick. I'll pay you back. <laughs> I'll pay you back. You said that? Yeah, I know. He wasn't insured. Why should I be paying for his car? Well, because you crashed it. I cr okay, yes, I crashed it. But why should I pay for his car even though I crashed it? Well, because you crashed it. It's called insurance, God. You gotta have insurance and then you gotta... It's confusing insurance. I don't understand insurance myself. What would Jesus do? He's forgiven me. No, if you were Jesus. If I was Jesus, I would have forgiven myself. So if Patrick was Jesus, he'd forgive you. And if you were Jesus, you'd forgive yourself. Just either way, that's working out really well for you. <laughs> Maybe in a New Zealand court of law, you don't owe him any money. Yeah. But in the New Zealand court of friendship, I still am in the car. Yeah. If you had a message for Patrick, what would it be? If you're watching this, Patrick, I'm truly sorry. I hope we can make peace and amends and become friends again. And I love you. <laughs> you're a good, you're like a good big brother. Uh, no, I love you. I'm not going to say I love you. Why not say I love you? I can't do that because I feel bad. I'll just say, I'm truly sorry, Patrick. I'm truly sorry, Patrick. I'll make it up to you. I'll make I it up to you. you. I'm, I, okay. I love you as my, as my one of my mates. Are you worried this sounds gay? Yes. What, what, what's wrong with being gay? Nothing, it's just... This is not the Christian Food Festival. Can someone take the fucking posters down, please? This is getting ridiculous. It's totally fine to say, Patrick, I love you. Patrick, I love you, my big brother. And I love how you still put the big brother on there, because you're like, not in a romantic way, not in a romantic way. I think it's time to make things right. It is time to make things right. We're going to get Patrick a car. We're going to restore the two best friends. Sounds like an idea. Let's go. What'd you say? That's cool. Don't say that again. Jesus may have forgiven Roy, but Patrick hadn't. The only way to restore this platonic heterosexual friendship was to repay the car he owed. But Roy was broke, and I'd spent the entire production budget on marketing a fake Christian food festival. We needed a get-rich-quick scheme, quick. I need to make money fast. Uh, just find what you're good at, guy, and the money will come flowing, I'm sure. What are my skills? Get naked. Get naked? Fuck, man, people will pay for nudes. Yeah, OnlyFans. Yes. OnlyFans? No, no. Yeah, OnlyFans? No. Are you going to subscribe? Yeah, go on, I'll support you. Open a club. Yeah, bro. What sort of club should I open? A gay one. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong with being gay, that's fine. Yeah, true. You've tried to mock me, but I've turned your homophobia back on yourself. Yeah. Gar Williams, changing lives, helping the people and being an ally. Have you stopped being homophobic now, thanks to me? Yes. Yeah, man, you changed my life. <laughs> I'm not interested with OnlyFans. Do you want to get that money or not? Yes, I do, but I want to do somewhere, do it somewhere more sustainable. Yeah, but OnlyFans, you don't have to be like that. You can sell yeah, your feet. Definitely. Feet pics. Feet pics? Yeah. On the internet, you can find heaps of people that just really want a good look at your feet. Feet fucking. Feet fetish. <laughs> no. If it's me an and Roy thing. started OnlyFans, would you check it out? Yeah. Keen? No. Why not? Because my feet are disgusting and I don't have any toenails. But some people are uh, into that. Rewind the clock. What, you don't have any toenails? Yeah. The only toenails I really have is on my big toes. That's enough. That, that's worth it. Well, you reckon that's worth something? Do. I hate my feet and I'm never going to do feet Thank first. You. Would you be able to take some pictures for me if possible? Yeah, no worries. Pokies? Pokies yeah. is how you lose money. Not if you're lucky. I'm not lucky, I'm white. White is the <laughs> word to describe. <laughs> white, yeah. Gar Williams, <laughs> political comedy. Loving the people and acknowledging his privilege. Occasionally, <laughs> but not always. Does it look sexy? Yeah, man. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing I've ever done. It's not that weird, Graham. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, my foot fetish only fans only had one fan. Can I leave? 
No. If only I didn't waste $600 on Christian Food Festival marketing, we would easily have enough money to buy Patrick a new car. And that's when Jesus spoke to me. Is this the Christian Food Festival? No, this is not the Christian Food Festival. Is this the Christian Food Festival? This is not the Christian Food Festival. I needed to give the people what they wanted. We already had the posters, now we had the Christian Chef. It was time for the second Topor Christian Food Festival. Welcome to the Christian Food Festival. Me and head Christian Chef Roy got busy in the kitchen. Holy Jesus, we ask you to bless this food that we're about to cook. We love you, Jesus, not in a gay way. Amen. To serve a wide range of Christian delicacies. What's the difference between the holy bread and the unholy bread? The holy bread costs $5 more. With clever pun names. We have one a taco about Jesus, praise Jesus, a range of dairy goods over there. And if you come over here, my favorite, is there anything special about these lamingtons? No. So I can call them whatever I want? No. Gotcha. Just call them lamingtons. Homophobic lamingtons. They're like normal lamingtons, but they think that marriage should only be between a man and a woman. And the Christians loved it. It tastes more like fucking dick cheese. <laughs> Through a combination of Christian generosity and people who felt sorry for us, we managed to scrape together just over $400, which was enough for a car. So we went to buy the best car that $400 could buy. It looks like a bullet's gone through the windscreen. Doesn't have any wheels. Do you reckon we need wheels though? Yes. What about that red one? That looks pretty good. Nah, it's nunted. Take it to the panel better, she'll Mate. be right. And then we found it. It's the perfect vehicle. Nah, it's a pass, unfortunately. As in that it's passing with flying colours? No. Roy? No. It's a pass. Guy, no. Fist me, Roy. No, guy. Come on, Roy. The final piece of the puzzle. The car that would hopefully reunite Patrick and Roy. So how are you feeling? A bit nervous. You're going to see Patrick for the first time in nine months. Do you know what you're going to say to him? Hope we can be friends again. But also an S word? Nah, I'm not going to swear at him. No, no, I oh, mean... Sorry, mate. Yeah. Here's your new car. Two friends torn apart by tragedy. The life is in the hands of Roy Bale. Reunited for the first time in nine months. <laughs> Shit, sorry. Maybe give it a, a high roy. How's it going, Roy? <clears throat> well, I'm sorry for crashing your car nine months ago, but I've learnt my lesson. What was the lesson you learned? <laughs> Don't crash cars. Like, everyone knows that lesson. Like, this isn't a Hollywood movie. You just need to say two simple words, the S word, remember, not, not yeah. the swear word, the other one. <laughs> well, I am sorry, Patrick, for crashing your car. That's all I wanted to hear from you, Roy. Yeah. One other thing you want to say? Love you, my big brother. Patrick Roy. We're going to have to do that again because a loud car drove in the background. One more time, Roy. One more time. Patrick, love you as my big, big, big brother that I've never had. And I hope you can forgive me and we can be mates again. Do you forgive him? I do forgive him, guy. I love you too, Roy. <laughs> Cheers, big bro. <laughs> you guys! <laughs> That was awesome as shit, man. Patrick and Roy back together. I love you guys. Love you too, guy. As a big brother. <laughs> I've done it. Two friends together again. And we saved the best till last. Here's your new brand new spanking wanking car. No shit. Here you go. It's a one piece. I'm impressed. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Roy. Enjoy Cheers. it. 45 minutes in Topor, baby! My hands are in the Patrick Boyle! <laughs> what, what, what? My hands in life are in Patrick Boyle! Yeah, that's not the expression. You've got the catchphrase completely wrong. Sorry. Right. My life is in the hands of Patrick Boyle! Yeah! Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Choo. 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 Yeah! It was the best night of our lives, and no one crashed into a pole. <laughs>